So what kind of treatments then are you, are you providing to folks? Are you doing a lot of like um, hands-on manual therapy stuff or are you kind of doing a whole lot of therapeutic activity or moving people more towards, obviously the goal is self-management, but like when people come in, are we looking at a lot of hands-on up front kind of tapering off or is it one of those, yeah, we'll kind of see where you are. Maybe we'll start you with some exercises and activity and then kind of move you from there. Uh, Self-management and education is throughout. Uh, initially, I think it's just teaching people, uh, giving people a better understanding of what's going on, especially when it seems kind of unpredictable or like the pain comes and goes or why has this been going on so long and nobody's been able to figure it out. You know, just giving someone some peace of mind that, you're not crazy. There is a reason for this and that there is hope to get it better. I think a lot of times um, goes a long way. Um, usually people have a lot of difficulty grasping up front a purely you know, psychosocial you know, you know, causative factor. So initially, uh, probably my treatments do tend more on the bio, unless there is a very, very strong psychosocial that, you know, just there's no no like rhyme or reason as far as when I do this, this happens, or when I do this activity, this happens, or, okay, it hurts right, right here in my elbow or right here in my back. It's well, one day it's in my left shoulder. One day it's in my back. Those are the ones that, you know, it's more you know, neurophysiological, psychosocial, um, nosoplastic pain mechanisms that, uh, you really need to get into that stuff right away. But yeah. most of the time when it's like, okay, I've got a back pain on my right side. It hurts when I'm standing. It hurts when I'm walking. I sit down, it goes away right away. But every time I stand up for the last 20 years, it hurts me. Um, those people I'll usually start out with a lot more um, just self-management things that, okay, if you stand a little bit differently, or if you walk a little bit differently, um, you may be able to take the edge off. And then we can do some hands-on treatments to help get you started, get the pain under control, give you a little bit of quick relief to give you um, some signs that you're actually going to be able to get out of this. And then towards the tail end, it does become more that you know, once you've gotten the, taken the edge off, things are a little bit more manageable. Um, you've got some signs that you are improving. How do we keep you there? How do we get you back to all the things you want to be able to do and keep you being able to do those things over the long term so the pain doesn't come back in the future? Yeah, I find, I find that we're doing a lot of that too. I might introduce something like somatic tracking, maybe very lightly at the beginning, but it's like at the right when we're getting ready to discharge or we're kind of wrapping up this plan of care and the individual is getting ready to go off with their home program, then we're like, okay, this is like going forward. You don't, you know, we're going to reinstitute a lot of this somatic tracking, mindfulness or whatever it is. And uh, really that mind body connection and work so that when they're gone and they have that relapse or that pain coming back six months down the road, six weeks down the road, they don't want to have a freak out and have a lot of pain, but then they know they have the confidence and the ability to, to manage it. Right. 